The Matrix Radio Vision Live with DWI. Live from the BXNY. Yeah. What it is, y'all. It's your boy, Neighborhood Nipsey Hustle. Fucking with DWI, holding y'all down. The Matrix Radio Live. Slauson Ave, Hustle Music, nigga. All right. All right, all right. My guy Zig yeah. is in the building. What's up, Zig? Pull up to your mic. Pull up to your mic. Yes, Let's sir. get it going. Yes, sir. Here we go. You've been ushered in by by my my founder. You know, everybody got the person that started him off, and Jesse Jess is the reason why DWI is 21 years in the game. So yeah. let's give a, a round of applause for Jesse Just for still out here on the grind helping independent artists. This is all we know how to do. Like I said, we probably met around the same time. I think he got started maybe a little bit, a, a year, maybe some time before I started. So I know he's like going on year 22 right now. Um, likewise, so tell us about Zig. What's going on with you down in the... In the war, which ward you repping? Which ward you repping? Oh There's man, ward down there. Oh man, it ain't, it ain't even really. It's Lake Charles over there, like you know what I mean, right there where I'm at. But okay. I was born in it's Jennings. Lake, Lake Charles. Lake Charles, right? right? You know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I was born in Jennings. You see what I'm saying? But right. I was raised in Orange, Texas. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll be back and forth, like you know. All right, so no, I was only asking that because when I when yeah. I get people from um, New Orleans, New Orleans, yeah, New yeah. Orleans, let me say it right. <laughs> This morning I started this, my morning show off, and we were, we was talking about New Orleans, and we had an artist, a few artists that was in the building that was from there, so they was really keep putting us up on game. So it's it's appropriate that I had you coming in today right. to really break it down. So how you come up with the name Zig? Like who? Man, that was my bro. My my bro actually from the Bronx, man. Really? The Armstrong. You got yeah. name Zig from somebody from the Bronx. Exactly, exactly. Robert Armstrong, man. They wow. call him Rob. Wow. G. Rob. Wow. You know <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. So now you, so you got your name from the Bronx. Exactly. It starts with a Z. So yeah. you, you, you finish off the A to Z alphabet. All right. When did you fall in love with music? Like when did you start doing this, this, this hip hop thing. Man, that that was like, that was a long time ago. Like I, I, lo- I it's when I first saw break dancing and all that shit, like. You know what I'm saying? I'm an '80s baby. I was born in '82. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. So you, yeah, you got, I got seven years on you. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I mean? Like as soon as I seen all that, man, I loved it, man. Like it just, it's just, it's a beautiful, it's an art form. I love it, man. So you know what I'm saying? As long as I well, can remember. And then. So what was that like be, being in Texas? I mean, not Texas, New Orleans, New Orleans. Nah, man. I nah, it wasn't even no New Orleans. Like I was born in Jennings, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? And so like. I've, I've been to New Orleans a few times. It's, it's right. cool. It's so Jennings, nice all right, so there. you got to give me geography lessons because I, like, I left school. I only did one year of college, so I need man. some. Man, Jen- okay, from from the, let's say from the from the state line, right? You got the state line of, mm-hmm. of Texas and Louisiana. Okay. Jennings is about 60 miles on the interstate going into. Going into but yeah, what, going into what state is that, though? That's that's Louisiana. Jennings oh, still is Louisiana. Louisiana right? Okay, got it, got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Got it, okay. All right, so. With that being said, um, so who was your favorite artist when coming up? Like from out of, let's start with where you from 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 Louisiana. Like who was the first rapper that you seen come out of Louisiana do it big, and you was like, oh shit. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna tell. You. Okay, look, check this out. Okay, when the Hot Boys, I remember the Hot Boys was real like okay. was big, okay. right? And but I'm talking about when Lil Wayne was a, like a little dude. Me and me and Wayne about the same age. Right. Okay. So when that, I first heard Block Burner. You know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne, Block Burner. Mm-hmm. And when I heard that, I was like, that dude is going to be big. Yeah. And sure enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, you already know. Like, Wayne's one of the, you yeah, know, like, Wayne. One of yeah, the if you think about it. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? He was definitely doing it. Got Boozy in them, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But then, like, Wayne, to me, Wayne's like the dude from 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 the boot. So, yeah. But like I said, man, when I heard him on Block Burner, I was like, that dude is going to be big. And sure enough, that's what happened. So, um. But yeah, man, like, so I that, guess I so guess the Hot Boys was okay. You that, know that what I mean? That's appropriate. That's appropriate. So, um, you starting off, um, coming from Jennings, out there. Uh, what was the climate like in the in that area? Like, what was as far as like hip hop? Was I, I'm sure hip hop wasn't like the favorite. Yeah, see, I, cause I was only I only stayed out there for like a couple like a couple years and right. everything. You know, my mom, like my daddy. You know what I'm saying? He whatever he did, rest his soul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but right. he but he had his own shit. So yeah. he went to Houston. Okay. You know what I mean or whatever. And then my mama went to Orange, Texas, okay. which is that's the first city you get to in Texas. You okay. see what I'm saying? So, so right, that's why I was so, raised. Right. She, she yeah. She oh, probably so it's both sides. So tell me, let me yeah. th- does the because I heard you use the um the, sh- the chopped and screw and that's really from a Texas. That's a Texas Exa- thing. So that yeah, was I was adapted. Re- yeah, I was heavily influenced. So by who yeah? So DJ Screw and who else like um. 
Oh, man, from out there, UGK. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, Ghetto Boys in them. Oh, yeah, Scarface. And yeah. Rest in peace to, um, what's my guy's name? That, that Bushwick. Bushwick, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For real. Yeah, so, man. man, you had you had something good to look forward. Like, you had something in front of you that you can be like, all right, this is what I want to do. So, was your, do you love writing, performing, or... or I, I or, love performing. I lo- That's one of my favorite things. I, yeah, so you performing, writing, or Performing creating. is a high, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and freestyling, that's one of my favorites. And I learned a lot of... You been in any battles? I've been in some battles, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I've been in some battles. You got them on tape? Um, um, yeah, you too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so what, what's your battle name? Same name, Zig? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same joint. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, no, no, I'm going to check that out. I'm going to follow. I got your YouTube, YouTube save right here, so I'm going to make sure I follow that. Right, right. So, um, all right. Um, producers. Who, what, what producers did you work with? And are they from all over? Internet or, yeah. or, or you got homegrown, somebody that you came up with? Nah, man. It's, it, it's all over, you know. Um, one of them is named Chill mm-hmm. from True Mental. Uh, well, he was he was with TrueMental.com. I think he does his own. Like he he done kind of got big, so he got his own little website and everything now. But yeah, his name Chill. Um, um, let me see, man. My bro, um, Vash, he went by Vashley, but his name he goes by I Was now. Mm-hmm. He done produced for me. Um, a dude named Two Blunt Marley. Two from, blunt Marley, like as in like two blunt that he smokes, or exactly, or like he's too blunt, like he talks, like he speaks his mind. Probably that too. You know what I'm oh, saying? Probably that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Probably that too. Along, along with. Yeah, and I think yeah, he's from Florida, I think, or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, his name, his real name, Jeffrey Young. But yeah, man, it just it just be it's just different people. Like it's just you know what I'm saying. Sometimes I just pop up in this like. The um the joint you just played with me and Baby Easy, that was um, that was Easy E's son. Yeah, that's what I didn't that's hear what one you of said. His son. Baby Easy E, and when he said from Compton, I was I was about to ask you who was the artist you work with. Right. So you work with Baby Easy E. What was that like? Oh that's man, like, that's legacy right there. Yeah, bro, that was that was that was a that was an honor, and like you said, man, that was that was something else, man. Like that was you could the, you know what I mean? Like the legacy was just right there because like. It, it was it was crazy, man, because I wasn't expecting I wasn't really expecting it to to happen like that. It was supposed to just be a meet and greet, and we went to Houston. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then he like I, I was just thinking we was just going there to like do you know perform our our little stuff that mm-hmm, we had and stuff. Mm-hmm. Me and the bros numb and pain in them. You know what I'm saying? And ASB and them. I grew up with them boys, and so we went over there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Goldie because she the one that you know uh, tipped us off to go over there and shit. She told her you know it was good. So we went over there, and we was filling the spot for Poochie Lope. And then, so when we popped up over there, you know what I'm saying? He Like, baby, easy right there. So I'm like, yo. I'm like, bro, we got to sip yo, something. Good, Marcus, you know what I'm saying? Call up on drink. So, you know what I'm saying? We got a little drink and stuff. And he, he smoking it, you know, boys doing yeah. their thing and shit. So man, it was much, man. And then I talked to him a little bit about, you know, about how he felt about the, because uh, that was about when, um around when the, uh, Straight out of Compton that came out, right? Right, right. So I, I talked to him about how he felt about the uh, about the that movie. movie, and he was like, he was like, nah, fuck that. He was like, that movie not even, you know what I'm saying? He was like, nah, that ain't that ain't no, the that, real that shit. Ain't what really you know happened. what I mean? Yeah. Like how old is he? Well, how young is he? He, he's I think maybe a couple years younger than me. I'm I'm 39 now, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I think he's probably like maybe 35, 36. I don't know, something like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Wow, well, that's dope to be able to. I work with Old Dirty Bastard's son. I work with Kid Capri's daughter. I work with a Big Pun's son, Chris Rivers. That's one of my artists that I work with from a long time ago. So it's dope to be to be a part of that. But I mean, you got you was able to get that down on your catalog. So how many how many records have you produced thus far? Like, man, like you you mean like produce like actual doing producing? No, no, no. How many records did you did you create? So or how much like, stuff? Yeah. Man, bro, it, I don't know. It's it's a lot. Like a lot is on my YouTube. Now okay. I have a, a official ones. I got like six, mm-hmm. you know, which the ones is, that's like on Spotify and all that. You know what I'm saying? But if you go through like my SoundCloud shit that I've done featured on, mm-hmm. and you know all that type of stuff, bro, it's 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 at least a couple hundred, at least. You know what I'm saying? All right. So you've been you've been um you, you got your name from the Bronx, right? Um, you end up with the hip hop which started in the Bronx. Yeah. So do you have any artists? from New York City that you look forward to working with or that you think you want to get on a record? Because you're in town now. Are you, are you in town for a meeting or are you just in town for this interview? Like, or you for just this, doing everything? Yeah, for this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for oh. this right here. Oh, that's you know? dope. That's dope. 
Yeah, came out here. Um, you know, Jesse told me it was good, you know what I'm saying? So, popped up out here. Oh, yeah, now, Jesse, if Jesse, when Jesse called, for all y'all don't know, when Jesse just called, y'all need to pull up. Um, I'm going to get Jesse just on Clubhouse. Now that they got it for Androids, I'm going to get him on so we can start doing some conferences live on um on Clubhouse because I think we should take advantage of the technology. All right, so um, so who's your favorite um artist out of New York from this side? Cause you, you Man, oh, I, I'm going to go old school with him and, and say go, Rakim. All right. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 listen, that's, I mean, that's, he's part of hip-hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, know it. Yeah. Rock him, the but God. that's but he's not the only one though. They got so many. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, if you had to take a ride from LA, if you had to take a ride from New Orleans to New York City, and you can only listen to one artist. Whose catalog would you listen to? Like who could you know you what? To straight through. You know what? Rest in peace to Big L, man. Big L, man. Hey, when when I was going to college, wow! when I was going to college, I I picked up on him. I started listening to him. I was like that dude. He he blew my mind, and he still does. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know but he that, was like under, but he was under 25 probably when he passed away too, right? Something like that. Yeah, man. That, young that's... young soul with, with with a lot of game. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, man. A lot of our, a lot of our greats went at a young age, and that's what shows you that the 90s era was that it was that much going on out, right out, out coming out of that crack era, especially in New York City, that they was they had enough material to write about. You know, yeah, yeah. No, no internet, no way to. To reach out and be creative and do collabos with it, all this had to be in, done in studio. You know what I mean? So think about that, right? As as, a, as an artist. So, all right. So, um, what what's your collabo like when you go in the studio? Do you do you rather work with other artists like live, or you want to do your part and then they do their part and you send it in? I, well, you know what? Either either one either one can be benefit. Either one is cool, right? But but I, I can dig the you know the, you the interaction. Clear. I can right. dig that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Being live on the spot, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Because I hear a lot of the the, the, the backstories of when Jay Z used to go in the booth and DMX and you know people like that, and they never was like heavy writers. A lot of them, they was really like they could go in there and really put it together on the fly off the off the off of memory. Yeah. And that's that shit is that's creative. Like, I mean, so I can't remember a, a phone number that somebody might just yell out. Let alone a rhyme that I wrote in my head earlier, and then I get in the booth and I done drank and smoked and did all type of other stuff throughout the day. Yeah. And now I'm trying to figure it out. So, um, do you when you when you do your music, you do you need any type of environment to to get you in the mood? Any weed, liquor, any? Sometimes I might sip a little something. Okay. You know, usually usually I I'm a drinker. Like I sip something. You know what I'm saying? Like I had I had a I had a real bad experience when I was younger, man. Yeah. And I don't I guess the boy laced it. Away. It was actually me and my bro Rob yeah. who from the Bronx. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We, oh, it, it happened man. to us together. That's with the dirty weed. I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? And I, I don't know what it was, man. Some people think it was like that wet or whatever. You know, yeah. I don't know what it was, bro. Yeah. But I got the tripping real yeah. bad. Yeah, he was tripping. And then you know when saying? you came off of that, you was just like, never yeah, again? I, yeah. So let well, me ask you something. I, I mean, I kind of would hit it every now and then a little yeah. bit, you know what I'm saying? But it just never... I always I always got that nervous, that worry in the back of my uh, mind, like, man, am I going to trip again? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of puts a damper on this shit, folks. Right, right. Yeah, nah. yeah. Say no to drugs, and especially say no to drugs to the ones that you don't know what they put in it. Right. Because that's why you can't get me to just go into somebody's cypher and just say, all right, we just going to roll up and smoke together. Nah, I'm good. You can keep that. You can hold that. And, and so, what about? Um, so, you mentioned the producers you work with. So, you, you, you have a new project you promoting now? Yeah, actually, yeah. That voodoo. I got voodoo out. You know what I'm saying? Which actually, where, they, was, where can they find it? Tell them where they. Can. Oh, it's on YouTube. You, you know what I'm saying? Zig, Z I G, voodoo. You know what I'm saying? That's on YouTube. You can peep that. That's the new shit. You know what I'm saying? We pushing that. Um, you know, and that that was actually just a freestyle. I just put that out there like as a freestyle at first. Then my um the engineer I was he went on ahead and chopped it up and he you know he made a little um like a little hook you mm -hmm. know from some mm -hmm. of the or some of the stuff I was saying or whatever so he just he put it together man he he's he's a genius man he's a, you know he's a little genius he does his thing so yeah shout out All to right. him well I got some people that's on the 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 um the the clubhouse joint I didn't even um I told you I'm gonna get you on it so once we close this interview out I'm a I'm gonna sign you up I'm gonna I'm get you get you acclimated so you can get yourself promoting your music on there too i think you have a lot of fun you, you got a nice personality and you got a, you you seem like you really enjoyed the, the art of the music and the hip-hop oh, so my yeah. guy my guy muggers in um sack and um dj 808 so if any of y'all got any questions y'all could just shoot quick question for the good brother zig i know y'all from that that side so y'all could just do some some quick promo 
Yeah. And look, real quick, any of the ladies that's listening, y'all like to twerk, y'all like to dance and everything. Two two of my two of my best, most like popular joints. One is Light Switch. That joint went viral and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They they played it on the uh, radio in Canada and all that sort of stuff. They did all that, you know what I'm saying? And then the other one is basketball, you know? And I, They like, played it out in Canada. Shout out to Canada. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my nigga Mugger like yeah. the toilet, you know? Um, yeah. Flush. He's 93 and shit, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, all right, so give me, um, give me your, your, your top three artist that's out now that you feel like if you can get it somebody on your on your record you would um you can get them on you know i like i like polo g man i've been hearing a lot of his i've been hearing a lot of his joints mm -hmm. at least at least a few of them and and i like i like i like i like his flow i like his vibe on there you know what i'm saying um that polo g you know what i'm saying of course i mean drake ain't that new but you gotta give drake his props man he 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 been doing it you know what I'm saying, and he, and he does it consistently. He does it on on a, on a big scale. Right, right. Um, um, you know, and maybe um, I'm trying to think, man, because I like a lot of the new cats, man. Um, what's it, um, I like I, I mess with Yachty. Yachty. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mess with Yachty. South Apollo G. I didn't get you know what? I gotta make, what's Apollo G's new new project? Just real fast, just. Man, All right, if you don't, don't, it don't matter. Man. This it goes interview. hard, though. Um, but I'm going to go listen to that because I, I hear a lot of people have his name and, and I'm just not privy to all the new joints that he got. Yeah. But um, I right, so this is what we're going to do. We, I want to um, I want to play, well, the, on the outro, I'm going to play the record. But I want you to, to plug in to everybody that's listening right now where they can um, where they can get your project. I know on YouTube, so spell it out because your, your YouTube is... Shit, um, just look up Z-I-G-F-C-F. TV, you know what I'm saying? All right, so yeah, Z I Z F C F TV. Exactly. And yeah. what, excuse me. What was the name of that, that that other record that you wanted me to play on the outro? Um, yeah, go ahead and play that light switch, man. So so the so the ladies can you know get their little club vibe on. And um, I see. So you when you reached out to get um, when you reached out to to get the feature with uh, well, when you not you didn't reach out when you got the feature with Easy E Junior. Um, was that something? Uh, do, uh, do you like the West Coast music? Is that something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I grew up on some West Coast music. They was banging, for sure. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah. All right. What was the name of the record again? It's that joint right there. This one. Uh huh. All right. All right. Well, I I definitely appreciate you coming up to the major studio. We're gonna take some pictures. We're gonna um we're gonna vibe out. We're gonna do some drops, and um we're gonna keep it moving. Um, anything else you wanna leave the people with? Man, let me shout out that boy D Gotti too, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's big bro right there. You know what I'm saying? Out of Houston, S U C. Rick Shop and all that. We did some work too. That joint is called Our Mannequin. And you know, that's that real street vibe, man. Y'all gotta listen to that because that's that's some shit. He he talking that's the real. That's the real. That's what they forget about these days a lot of time. When you know, turning up too much. But that's all good, you know. You gotta so turn he, up, but you gotta you gotta feel that real shit too. That street shit. So you he hit he he spitting bars is what you're saying. I mean, hey man, it's the truth. You gotta you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got a message too. Right, okay. It's real. All right, that's that's what that's what you're talking about. All right, I got you. All right, so um, we we are live here at DSN in the Bronx, New York. Zig, he got his name from the Bronx, or from a Bronx dude. Yes, sir. Um, he has first batch of bad weed from a, bat, a a Bronx dude, so don't put that on us, though. Nah, he wasn't from the Bronx. Nah, oh, he that, wasn't that from the cat Bronx. Wasn't from, nah, that cat was from somewhere like Orange Tech. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't even know where he's from, man. Don't. All right, <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so um, yeah, let's get into that record and um, peace. Good looking out for coming through the Matrix, and we gonna we gonna rock. Sir. Yeah, what it is?